Sagittarius. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Serge, I have been looking at your most viewed videos. I want to give you what you want. So your most viewed videos, like, what are they hiding? So let's give you that. You want to know what they're hiding? Let's have a look, shall we? What are they hiding from you? Sagittarius. What are they hiding from you, Sagittarius? Bear in mind, loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to click that link below to come to my website. It's, you're not going to get one any other way. I'm not going to come to you. I'm not going to find you. You have to come to me. If it happens in any other way, it's it's somebody pretending to be me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, Sagittarius, what are they hiding from you? Have a look. Who, me? I'm so innocent. I wouldn't hide anything from you. Oh, except for that. That's fine. Okay. The overall vibe of the reading is great we've got the sun that's harmony that's beautiful wonderful love it's uh anything good you could possibly think about crossed by the ace of cups so what are they hiding from you what you need to know right now i'm hiding nothing this is justice i'm i'm above the law i'm good i'm my conscience is clear is it is it really? Or are you just really good at hiding something? Let's have a look, shall we? What are they hiding? Why is justice here? That's what Sagittarius needs to know right now. This person doesn't make mistakes. This person doesn't... They're too clever. <laughs> Either they don't make mistakes or they don't leave evidence. It looks like this person's pretty clean for now. As we go. Are you frightened because, you know, you've been hurt in the past and you're afraid of being happy? So you think they're hiding something from you? I've got to look at all options here. I'm going to be honest, Sash. They look pretty... They look pretty clean. What does Sagittarius need to know right now? Something's going on with them. Something's going on in their work life. This is what's bothering you. You're thinking like they're spending more time at work. They're not getting back to you straight away. Something's changed in the pattern of how they are with you. And you're like, so what are they hiding? This person's clean. Right now, as it stands, this person is clean. If they're saying they're at work, they're at work. If they're saying they're with their friends, they're with their friends. Okay. 
whatever's going on right now, at this moment, this is your thing. This is your trauma from a past. They're actually... If they say they're working, they're working. What you need to be aware of coming up. We've got the page of swords here. This is someone who's like, they're, they're talkative. They got lots to say. They're curious about things. Tell me more about this. This is also known as the spying card. Why is this here? Do you want to have a look? Do you want to see what's going on? You don't want to find anything. And I don't think it's because they're too clever and they're getting away with it. I think it's just because you're not going to find anything because there's nothing there. This person is committed. This person's old school. When they're in a relationship, they're in a relationship. Like, you know, the energy I'm getting is that, uh, that this is your trauma. They're not hiding anything. Why is the tower in reverse here? This is avoiding a disaster. This is... Fear though. Fear. Your fears from what has happened to you in the past is going to push this person away. If you accuse somebody of cheating, talking to other people, of misbehaving, of being up to no good. If you keep accusing someone when they're not doing that, they might as well just do it because they're getting accused of it. It becomes tiring. You gotta clear this up with yourself. I don't see that this person is this the one with the problem. I think that this person's gonna try and give you everything you want so that you feel safe and secure. But I think that you're still just not gonna feel like that. And that's your trauma that you need to deal with. Somebody I know did this. They, uh, they were, their, their partner was constantly looking at their phone. Uh, accusing them of this, that and the other that they'd never done. And uh, also the kind of person that they wanted them to fit into their life. So uh, if whatever they were doing didn't fit in with what they wanted, they were a terrible person, you know? So they gave them everything they wanted. They even married them two years later. It's still going on. They're still accusing them of cheating and all this. And they're just like, you know what? I'm done. It's over. I can't take it anymore. I gave you everything you wanted and you still didn't trust me. So we're out. I think this person's gonna kind of do the same. I see that Things are going to move forwards, but your lack of trust, your your trauma from the past is going to end it. This person is actually, it all looks above board to me. I don't think, I think if they're saying they're working late, that's actually what they're doing. The outcome here. Here's the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is you healing. This is you doing the healing that you need to do from your past betrayals. Tell me more. Let's 
is you sorting out these boundaries. Mm, boundaries, not quite the right word. Sorry, I'm losing my light. There we go. This is you being on the defense constantly. You've been hurt. Of course you have. You're going to want to be poised, ready to ready to act when somebody hurts you again, right? Why not? You know, if they're not, if they're doing nothing wrong, maybe you just got a good one this time. Do the healing you need to do from the past. This is nothing to do with this person. Do the healing that you need to do. Guidance for you. I'm going to take this into extended where I'm going to ask how this person really feels about you. How do they see you? What, where are you here in their heart space? What do you mean to them? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? There's some guidance for the universe. But guidance here right now is a little bit of guidance for you. You got some healing to do, my love. When I mean, you can stand on your own feet and drink from your own cup and not need this person or anyone else to validate you. Then you'll be good. And that's kind of what it is. It's all about validation. Like, your trauma. That's what you're kind of looking for. You've, you've been hurt. And you've been hurt. And you've been hurt. It's a pattern. So now it's time to break that pattern. Because it looks like you got a good one here. And do the healing you need to do. Let me pull you some Oracle Guidance. The answers you need are coming. And your love lyric is. <laughs> when I'm with you, I need somewhere else. I'm gonna get them through. But do you please yourself? It's kind of where you are, you're thinking they must be up to no good. Are they thinking about someone else when, when they're with me? Are they, they, when they're, are they with someone else when they're not with me? Love Bites by Def Leppard. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you very much for joining me. Hit that notification bell as well. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Bye.